thing about me, Dave, is that I don't have a long memory for bad things. Today, we'll be checking in on the most notable celebrities who serve prison time and seeing what they're up to now. Number 10, Felicity Huffman. Widely known for her role in ABC's Desperate Housewives, Felicity Huffman found herself in hot water when she was implicated in the 2019 college admissions scandal. Huffman pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit mail fraud and honest services fraud after it was revealed that she had paid someone to manipulate her daughter's SAT scores. She was sentenced to 14 days in jail and released two days ahead of schedule. Since her release, Huffman has largely retreated from the public eye. She is set to reprise the role in the spin-off series, The Good Lawyer. We found out this had happened twice before. Number nine, Wesley Snipes. They say nothing in life is certain except death and taxes. Hollywood star Wesley Snipes would come to learn this in 2008 when he was sentenced to three years in federal prison for willfully failing to file his tax returns. Prior to this scandal, Snipes had gained popularity for his collaborations with director Spike Lee and his iconic role as Blade. The actor was released from prison in April 2013 and returned to the big screen in the ensemble action flick The Expendables 3. Snipes reunited with Murphy for the long-anticipated sequel, Coming to America. Whoa, look at you. Number 8. Mark Wahlberg One notable incident occurred in April 1988 when he physically assaulted two Vietnamese American men in one day and hurled racial slurs at them. Wahlberg was arrested and later pleaded guilty to felony assault, serving 45 days of a three-month jail sentence. I was basically a follower instead of a leader, and I needed to, to change my ways. However, he managed to turn his life around, steadily raising his profile in Hollywood and earning acclaim for his performances in films like The Departed and The Fighter. He has also appeared in blockbusters such as the Transformers franchise and the 2022 video game adaptation Uncharted. Number 7. Lauren Hill In 2012, she was charged with tax fraud for failing to pay about $1 million in taxes and sentenced to three months in prison. I think the judge took into account uh, the incredible person that Miss Hill is, uh, the contribution she's made to society. Since then, Hill has contributed to projects like 2015's What Happened, Miss Simone and the Queen and Slim movie soundtrack. In 2023, she embarked on the 25th anniversary tour of the miseducation of Lauren Hill. Number six. Lindsay Lohan. Her transition from teen idol to Hollywood leading lady was marked by significant legal troubles, mostly stemming from substance use disorder. Lohan was arrested twice in 2007 for driving under the influence and sentenced to one day in jail. Two years later, while attending the Cannes Film Festival, she missed a court-mandated hearing, resulting in a 90-day sentence. That's 90 days in jail. Due to overcrowding, she only spent 14 days behind bars. These setbacks had a significant impact on her career. Nevertheless, Lohan made a comeback with the 2022 Netflix rom-com, Falling for Christmas. Number five, Tim Allen. Back in 1978, Tim Allen was an up-and-coming stand-up comedian working in Detroit, Michigan. In October that year, he was arrested at the Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport and served over two years in prison for drug trafficking. Allen could have faced a possible life sentence if he didn't cut a deal with the prosecutors to rat out other drug dealers. Following his release, Allen continued with his comedy career and, a decade later, landed the role of Tim Taylor on the ABC sitcom Home Improvement. He gained additional recognition for voicing Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story franchise. Number four, Martha Stewart. This domestic diva and gardening guru built a media empire for herself with her lifestyle and homemaking tips. That empire came close to crumbling in 2004 when she was convicted of misleading investigators regarding a 2001 stock trade. This led to a five-month sentence at the federal prison camp in Alderson, West Virginia. But any speculation that Stewart's empire would crumble after her release fell flat on its face. Instead, the resilient entrepreneur made a triumphant comeback, launching more successful businesses and TV shows. Uh-oh, Martha, what will you be making for us to drink today? It's mulled wine, and mm. it's very traditional at Christmas time. Number three, Robert Downey Jr. Towards the end of the 90s, the actor faced severe legal troubles due to substance use disorder. 
Robert Downey Jr. is opening up about his time in prison in the late 90s, saying it was the worst thing that happened to him. He spent six months in jail in 1997 for missing a court-ordered drug test, followed by nearly a year behind bars in 1999 for the same offense. Fortunately, Downey turned his life around. In 2008, he became Iron Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, a role he played until 2019. Iron Man. Number 2. O.J. Simpson The former football star and actor was charged with the murders of his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ronald Goldman. In 2007, Simpson faced a new legal challenge. He was convicted of 12 criminal charges and sentenced to 33 years in prison, ultimately securing parole after nearly nine years. Since his release, Simpson has led a relatively quiet life in Las Vegas, occasionally sharing his views on sports, politics, and even notable murder trials on social media. He was taken off parole in 2021 and is now a free man. Number one, Bill Cosby. Once celebrated as America's dad, Bill Cosby fell drastically from grace after dozens of women accused him of sexual assault. In 2015, Cosby was indicted on charges of aggravated indecent assault for an incident that occurred in 2004. After two criminal trials, he was found guilty and sentenced to three to ten years in prison. However, in 2021, his conviction was overturned on a legal technicality and Cosby was set free. Despite this, he has faced civil lawsuits from his accusers, one resulting in a $500,000 payout. Cosby is now reportedly working on a docuseries about his life, a memoir, and a comeback comedy tour. 